Hey guys, this is Sean with an update on Project Natural. So we got some upgrades to the aquarium. I've got the uh, <coughs> Finex Hang On Back Refugium all hooked up the way I think I want it. I'm going to tell you about what's going on up here. And this will be the filtration for the aquarium. Uh, in the back there, I have a cobalt neotherm heater, 50 watt. I've got two pieces of live rock. I've got some macroalgae. In the first chamber, I've got some filter floss. And I've got the uh, intake feeding right into the filter floss so as to cut down on, on the noise. Uh, feeding the Finex, I've got the Hyder Hitter or Hyder. Uh, it's a Evo Pico pump capable of 180 GPH. And I've got a circulation pump. That's the Hyder Corallia. Um, 240 GPH uh, circulation pump. I've got an, a very cheap LED light um, on top of the refugium and I've also got the Kessel A80 nano light on top of the tank. Um, I've got two pieces of live rock in the tank. I've got some Astria snails, some Masaria snails are burrowed in the sand. Got a uh, yellowtail damsel, light layer of sand, and this is uh, Mr. Aqua uh, Chick Aquarium. It's 11.4 gallons. Uh, it is discontinued. I was able to find it on Craigslist for $50. So um, one of the features of this aquarium is that it's a very uh, low budget aquarium and I've got some of the boxes from the products that I used. Uh, you can get these on Amazon for real cheap. I think the circulation pump was like 23 bucks and the, the Evo Pico was about the same, about 22 bucks. Refugium, the Finex was like 35 bucks on aquacave.com, and of course the Kesselite, uh, the A80 uh, Tuna Blue is the most expensive piece on this whole uh, aquarium. The uh, heater, the Cobalt um, Neotherm was $38. So um, the aquarium's looking good. Uh, the next thing I'm going to be doing um, is I've got these uh, clips that mount right on top of the rimless and I've got four of them so I'm going to be making a custom lid um, for the uh, aquarium. It's not going to be anything very intricate. It'll be the, the width of the tank plus the depth minus where the uh, tubing goes up. So I'll probably have room in the back that's open, but that's going to uh, cut down on the evaporation in the tank. Um, and I've also, uh, the Phoenix hang on back does come with its own lid, so I'll throw that on there so you can see what it looks like. And I had, I had to rest the um, refugium up against the wall just to prop it up from falling because otherwise it, it sags. So that was uh, one downside to this item. Um, so be aware of that. And the water does go all the way up so um, just be wary of that too. <clears throat> so I've got um, a piece that came with it to prevent the uh, macroalgae from flowing through. I'm going to be playing around with that because I do want the electrical um, wire to kind of come down the lip here, like that.
So that's with the lid on. <clears throat> so that's it on Project Natural for now. And I will post more updates as necessary. I will also uh, list out the prices in my post so that you can look at that for something similar if you're interested. So thank you for watching my video and please subscribe.